Not long ago, I made a video uh, talking about how they've discovered a new cloud all of a sudden. After billions of years, all of a sudden we've got a new cloud. Uh, just a bit of an update on that with the daily fail here. Stunning. Notice how they use that word stunning. They put that word right at the start to make out like this is this is just beautiful. It's amazing how wonderful this is. A stunning roll cloud that looks like a huge plane trail. But that looks like a huge plane trail. I hate to tell you, but it is a huge plane trail. It doesn't look like one. It is one. It's spotted in the skies above Cumbria. Um, Cumbria. I'm sure these uh, stunning roll clouds are spotted throughout the world, not just in Cumbria. Wind conditions, wind conditions form the strip of cloud stretching across the entire skyline above Carlisle in Cumbria. Volutus, I think that's how you pronounce it, Volutus, last month named as a new species of cloud in the world meteorolo meteorological, oh, hard word to say, meteorological or whatever organisations cloud atlas. The striking, see the words they use? Stunning, striking. You gotta love it. Tube shaped cloud created incredible spectacle. It's an incredible spectacle. We gotta love it in the sky caused by the Cumbrian helm wind. So they've got a name to it now, the Cumbrian helm wind. So the name of the new cloud is Volutus. Onlookers were treated, treated. Oh, isn't that wonderful? We were treated to a stunning spectacle, stunning spectacle, as a strong wind created an unusual meteorological sight above their homes. So a strong wind created this cloud, did it? Known as Helm Bar, the roll cloud formation stretched across the sky above Carlisle, Cumbria. So they've got a name for it, Helm Bar. Extreme weather conditions, of course it's extreme, because it's all about climate change that's caused it, causing this which are unique through the highest point of the Pennines, created a striking tube-shaped cloud. So this cloud's only created because of extreme weather conditions. The helm bar cloud formation is only said to end when the direction of the wind changes again. Look at this. It's a fucking chemtrail. <laughs> That's what it is. It's a fucking chemtrail. It's come out of a plane. But no. Folks, it's a stunning Volutus cloud. Look at that. No other clouds anywhere, but this stunning Volutus cloud. The clearly defined narrow cloud is believed to be believed to be caused believed to be caused by the helm wind, a result of the geograph of the fells, and was seen by thousands of people as it drifted over Cumbria. Yeah, only a thousand people saw it, did they? Beautiful chemtrail. The phenomenon, got some hard words there. The phenomenon occurs when the helm, a strong blustery easterly wind. So who came up with this helm shit? All of a sudden, the helm is a strong blustery easterly wind that descends the western slope of the Cross Fell Range in Cumbria, creates a rotating roll cloud form. So it only appears in Cumbria apparently. Yeah, right. There has to be a strong north easterly wind for the cloud to form. Air is forced to rise on the eastern Pennines at Crossfell. When there are strong winds, the cloud forms a roll that is called a helm bar. <laughs> a byproduct of the helm bar is often very gusty winds in the Eden Valley. The helm wind is unique to Carlisle and can last for days at a time. Depends how often the planes spray. So you're telling me this cloud only forms in one part of the world. Look at this. Look at this. Harp. The harp effect. The shit that's going on. Extreme weather conditions which are unique to the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What a chemtrail. What a doozy that one is. But no, it's the helm, helm bar cloud formation. It's only said to end when the direction of the wind changes. Look at that. What a beautiful... What a beautiful chemi. Get this, the new cloud on the block. The new cloud on the block after billions of years. We've got the Volutus. And we're going to be happy about it. The cloud species Volutus was this year officially named as a new species of cloud in the WMO Cloud Atlas. 
the new cloud species name will now be used by meteorologists operationally around the world. In March 11, new kinds of cloud were officially recognised by weatherman. The British Med Office and Lava said it had made the decision. It had made the decision after exhaustive research, with many pictures sent in by amateur cloud spotters around the world. Uh, maybe they saw all the chemtrail videos on YouTube and said, "Oh yeah, we're going to make a decision here. Let's call it Volutus." Going by the name Volutus, the new species is described in the guidebook as a long, typically low horizontal detached tube-shaped cloud mass. It often appears to roll slowly about. So there we have it, folks. Uh, chemtrails are now called volutas. So uh, when the family goes out for a picnic and uh, there's a massive chemtrail in the sky, uh, little Johnny's going to say, look, Mummy, there's a volutus. We were taught that in school today. That's our new cloud. Did you know about the new cloud? Volutus. Not only are there cirrus, nimbus and what have you, we have got the Volutus. What a fucking joke.